brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Enacted in 2006, the direct payer agreement between the Guam Memorial Hospital and insurance carriers aimed to incentivize companies to pay their claims ahead of time. But what started out with good intentions soon had unintended consequences for collections. An 8% discount offered to claims paid within a 30-day period was inappropriately applied to claims that did not qualify for the discount, leading to a loss in revenue of roughly $3 million over five years. Hospital Management Advisory Team Spokesperson Will Castro. H-Man has already made the recommendation to Governor Calvo, and Governor Calvo has taken action and directed that the 8% um, discount uh, be suspended. That impact would translate to approximately anywhere from $150,000 to $250,000 a year that the hospital would be able to realize as part of its uh, billing and collections. He said insurance companies have been working with GMH to determine which bills were mischarged and whether money is still owed. He added the change falls in line with public law. Insurance carriers are required to pay the full amount of a clean bill within 45 days anyways. The change was thanks to ongoing discussions between HMAT and hospital staff. If you look at all of the initiatives that have been implemented to date, uh, collectively HMAT and the governor, if you were to stretch it out over a five-year period, have saved the hospital anywhere from three to five million dollars. Despite the savings, the real question is long-term sustainability. How do we support the hospital whose operational cash shortfall is anywhere from 15 to 25 million dollars a year? HMAT is discussing everything from establishing specialized centers of excellence in areas such as cardiology or oncology to partnerships with hospitals or educational institutions throughout the region. With three dozen initiatives currently being vetted, he expects a finalized HMAT report should be completed in the next month and said it already shows similarities with a GMH task force report issued earlier this year. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.